summary anti angle agents we have beta blockers that is working by decreasing heart rate thereby decreasing cardiac workload and decreasing oxygen demand and then we have calcium channel blocker like diltiazem it is working by increasing oxygen supply as well as decreasing oxygen demand by the myocardium and then we have the wonderful group of drug called nitrates nitrates are vasodilator they are maximally reducing preload thereby reducing cardiac workload and oxygen demand and they also causes redistribution of blood from non ischemic to ischemic area and then we having potassium channel opener nicorondil which having nitric oxide releasing property increases blood flow to the ischemic area so it's also a wonderful adjuvant to nitrate called nicorondil and then we having fatty acid oxidation pathway inhibitor having antioxidant activity like trimetazarin tranlosin and we also having one latest drug called ibabradin ibabradin a funny current sodium channel blocker going to decrease heart rate thereby decreasing oxygen demand useful for treatment of angina so among the available among the anti angle agent the first line drugs useful for treatment of angina sar beta blocker calcium channel blocker like diltiazem and then nitrate the second line drugs useful for treatment of angina includes pathway of fatty acid oxidation inhibitor like trimetazidine tranlosin furnicarin sodium channel blocker like ibabradin and potassium opener like nicorondil remember doctor overall among all anti analgesic the fantastic drug is beta blockers because they are going to modify disease going to control death in case of acute mi so among anti analgesic the fantastic drugs are beta blockers now we want to outlining the pharmacotherapy of myocardial infarction look at this in this ecg there is st segment elevation seen on v1 v2 v3 and v4 leads it's a case of st elevation mi so how to manage a case of st elevation mi here there will be severe chest pain to control the chest pain first we have to give sublingual nitroglycerin that's a fantastic choice a another analgesic agent useful to control acute pain in ma patient is opioid like morphine but remember there are some opioid that should not be used in case of ma patient includes pethidine and pentazosin pethidine having anti cholinergic action pentazosin having sympathetic stimulatory action thereby causing tachycardia thereby increasing oxygen demand so worsening the angina so remember opioid contraindicated for treating pain in ma patient includes pethidine and pentazosin now after controlling the pain we have to use antiplatelet this is the main treatment for treatment of mi antiplatelet must then we go for recanalization when i say recanalization it can be achieved either by medical therapy or by surgical intervention when i say medical therapy i mean fibrinolytic therapy the called thrombolytic agent there are some drug going to activate plasminogen into plasmin plasminogen are called profibrinolysin when they get activated they going to form plasmin plasmin mean fibrinolysin thereby lysing the clot they call thrombolytic agent but the point is this drug should be started as early as possible especially within half an hour maximum within 1 hour after starting mi if you start thrombolytic agent the benefit will be excellent but 
if the facilities are very good if the patient is affordable mean today comparing to fibrinolytic agent the best option for recanalization is surgical intervention by using angioplasty percutaneous transluminal angioplasty or by elective cabg the best is angioplasty now after this we have to start anti coagulant anti platelets and also controlling diabetes and controlling cholesterol all these are adjuvant therapy for treatment of acute mi now there is one more thing called non st elevation mi here the clinical symptom will be similar to st elevation mi but in the ecg there is no st segment elevation here same treatment except thrombolytic agent remember fibrinolytic agents are contraindicated in non st elevation mi because study shows benefit versus adverse effect in case of non st elevation mi with thrombolytic agent the adverse effects are higher than the benefit so fibrinolytic drugs are indicated only for st elevation mi they are contraindicated for non st elevation mi now extra one point angioplasty percutaneous transluminal coronary angioplasty here we are introducing a balloon catheter and we do recanalization but when we introduce a balloon we may likely to damage the endothelium the damage endothelium may cause proliferation and risk of restenosis so now what we do whenever we do angioplasty we keep on stent no to prevent restenosis of stent now we have drug eluting stent that mean there are some drug added in the stent to prevent restenosis what are they number 1 sirolimus number 2 paclitaxel sirolimus one of the immuno suppressant acting by inhibiting interleukin 2 at the receptor level it is called mtor inhibitor the import, important adverse effect of sirolimus of immuno suppression causing secondary infection other problems of it may cause thrombocytopenia and hyperlipidemia in the form of hypertriglyceridemia yeah another drug useful for preparing drug eluting coronary stent is paclitaxel paclitaxel is a anti cancer drug belonging to taxane group this drug causing adverse effect of myelosuppression peripheral neuropathy and also causing allergic reaction remember one very interesting question whenever we do angioplasty following angioplasty minimum at least for one year the patient should be put on dual anti platelet drugs like aspirin plus p2y12 blocker like clopidogrel or prosugrel so following angioplasty at least for one year the patient should be on dual anti platelet so these are some of the important points regarding management of myocardial infarction and last one more point i want to tell you the point is so far we discussed chest pain that is angina pectoris and drugs useful for treatment of angina now we have one more thing called vascular disease in a smoker there is a high risk of peripheral vascular disease and they may feel claudication pain while walking so to treat this we have some drug one is called pentoxyphylin pentoxyphylin a non selective phosphodiesterase inhibitor it going to improve the rheological action of rbc rheological mean flexibility of rbc by promoting the flexibility of rbc the rbc can flex and go even in micro circulation thereby improving oxygen supply to the peripheral area useful for non healing ulcer in case of pvd 
one of the most important adverse effect of pentoxifalin it's highly emetogenic causing severe nausea and vomiting but recently we have a newer drug useful for peripheral vascular disease is called silastazole silastazole is a selective pd3 inhibitor acting by accumulating cyclic amp having vaso dilate reaction and anti platelet action very much useful for managing claudication pain in a patient with peripheral vascular disease so doctor we finish angina pectoris and also we finish drugs useful for peripheral vascular disease read well may god bless you thank you all the best